Welcome to the Daily Dose. My name is Robert. It's my pal, Susan. We are rehashing the life and times of Yes And Exercise <laughs> and, uh, as it builds toward acceptance. And uh, uh, Susan's uh, The Book, uh, whenever that gets a working title, oh, we're both uh, authoring currently. Um, and so that means some unpacking and, and, and re-examination of, of where we've been. And one of the things we talked about in the early parts of our relationship was what improv meant to us, how we were presenting it and having it presented to us and, you know, the challenges and opportunities. And one of the things that was really important to me, and this fits in the storytelling side of things, which is the stakes. If I was doing this casually, or if I was an employee at, you know, a hospital or a university, you know, who was just given the task of, yeah, take a look. I am certain that this wouldn't have grown the way it did. It, I needed this to work, put it that way. It, it, it really was like, it's a, you know, the, the highest level of storytelling is in, in, in stakes is what? Desperation, sorry. <laughs> Life and death. Oh, Life awesome. and death, which, which can lead to and, and, and somehow show up as desperation, right? <laughs> um, for sure. And, and, and certainly I don't want to display that as I'm putting it forward. However, oh, I- absolutely, not as a teacher. You right. Can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I, but I knew I said, you know, this either works or I'm in a real bad spot. Uh, and, and of course, I had been undercut by, you know, my university uh, foundation to the point where I was almost not in the very thing I needed for this to make sense. Because if I didn't have a PhD program to back this up, if I'm just guy on the side with comedy sports, nobody's really going to listen to me. You know, it's because of the PhD student that people go, okay, you must have done something to earn some right to be a, be in this space and we'll give you a look. So stakes mean a lot. Yeah, yeah. How about to you in learning this? Because you've got stakes as a person with Parkinson's. <laughs> so needing to do things and have your time be spent in meaningful ways, stakes mean something to you, right? One of our friends, mutual friends, reached out to me this week. I haven't heard from her for months. And she's struggling. And she reached out because she has a sense that I have a, a gift or a, an ability to lift myself up out of being blue. She wants to talk this weekend. We will talk this weekend. The stakes in that conversation are so high because she's turned to me as someone who she believes can help. And I'm just this much down that road toward understanding what it takes. <laughs> it stakes is exact, exactly the right word. There's a, there's, a, there's a lot on the line. For me, for my sense of um, fulfilling um, what I hope I can fulfill for my friend. Well, when you think about it, it's why we tune in. It's why we care from sports to entertainment to our own lives. When the stakes are raised, you know, yeah, we, we, it's it's put up or shut up. It's do or die, as it were. Now, it's not healthy to live in that fight or flight mode all the time. Uh, that, that can lead to all sorts of issues. However, never going to that place can also lead to, uh, I think, a different set of issues. So life is a balancing act in that regard of needing to push oneself back to the neurological thing and the pathways out of getting in that rut, as it were, to push, you know, and, and make an effort. We have to, or we're going to get caught and, 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 and really, um, you know, therefore no longer develop and, and and perhaps falsely think life doesn't have anything for us mm -hmm. or maybe it's the other way around kind of the kennedy thing ask not what you can do what, what can be done for you but what you can do right i think it's the same way with our lives just generally what can we do you know for ourselves that in turn and this is once again putting stakes in it positively affects others because that's stakes. If we're doing it just for ourselves, to me, that's a lower stakes opportunity. And, and you know, if we fail and we're the only ones who notice, it's the tree in the woods, right? Until one is sought out as a teacher. There is the stakes. Yeah. So it comes back. So 
the tree in the woods can be okay with just being what it is until. Well, and, and I know we've got, I'm going to button that into our next conversation because there, there's a necessary time for the tree in the woods. There really is. Cause otherwise that tree will never get the opportunity um, to do anything. If, if it, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll make that metaphor work. We'll come back. We'll make it work. <laughs> 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 <laughs>